The European epicentre of the virus has hit a 25-day low in the number of new cases, providing some hope that the worst of the pandemic in Italy is over. The decline is good news for officials in a country that has reported more than 135,000 cases and 17,000 deaths. And while the new cases are falling, the lockdown measures are beginning to bite. The country's economy has taken a beating and thousands are struggling to survive without jobs. Our correspondent Georgia Orlandi has sent us the latest from Rome and has this report for us. It looks like Italy has finally turned the corner and the trend is being confirmed as the days go by. And that's pretty clear if you look at the number of new infections. Well, these has been decreasing for a few days in a row. Uh, the infections growth rate uh, has dropped to 2.8 percent. It has never been that low in the last uh, few days. Also, the number of patients who are being treated in intensive care units is decreasing. And instead, the number of people who are recovering from the infection is increasing. Increasing. These are all elements that government officials and experts would need to look at this week uh, when they plan the so-called second phase of the government's response to the outbreak. That would involve uh, actually people living with the virus as uh, a few measures uh, will be relaxed. There's no indication on when that is going to start. Some experts have said that this is due to begin the very first week of May, others uh, mid-May. Well, it depends on figures. What we do know is that these would require quite a complex plan that the government uh, would need to put in place uh, involving uh, contact tracking smartphone apps and a way to detect those people who have already experienced uh, the virus. For now, the lockdown period is going to last until the 13th of April. George Orlandi for you.